Welcome to WiseLink Academy. For today, we're going to be reproducing out the isometric you are seeing at the right corner of the screen. First thing first, um, our first procedure to draw any isometric is to produce out the isometric axis, right? So doing that with f of my t square, if I draw a horizontal line downwards this way horizontal line downward this way right hence if I take my um, a set square this way I will draw horizontal line uh, sorry an inclined line of 30, 30 degree also with same procedure right with the same procedure at this point here too I will draw the line down the next task now is that I will place my set square or my t square this way. I will draw a vertical line upward. This is what we mean by what isometric axis. Now, first thing first, for my diagram, I need three things. I need the length, the breadth, and the height. Getting my length from the diagram, as you can see, my arrow indicating the length. From this point here to this point 70, which is my length, so I'll measure out 70 with the help of my metal rule from this point here to this point is 70, right? As you can see. Next up, if you observe closely, my entire breadth is 44. So I'll measure 44 from this point here to this point is 44. As you can see, I have first um Indicator, second indicator. I need my, my entire height for that figure is 25. As you can see, my arrow indicating. So I'll measure out 25 from this point here to this point is 25. Right? So I have three points point one, point two, and point three. With these three points, I can easily produce out the box at which that figure you are seeing at the right corner of the screen is being gotten out from. So, with my set square this way, I'll draw a vertical line upward, as you can see, up to this point here. At this point, a vertical line upward. Next up, I'll take it down this way to touch this line here. Also, take it down this way to touch this. Also, take it down like this. Take it down this way. Also, I will close it up. I have successfully what produced out a box at which that figure was gotten from, right? So as you can see in front of you. So my next task now is that I need to follow the instructions. But well, before I start, let me clean all this unwanted line, all these ones, so that we can see the exact box. Right, as you can see, here is my exact box. Now, if you observe closely, this box you are seeing in front of you, um, my first task is that from here to here is taking, as you can see my arrow indicating, so I will take in that, that's my first task, I will take in these two parts, so I haven't done that, if you observe closely, from this point here to this one, somewhere here is 32, as you can see my arrow indicating, so I'll measure out 32, 32 from that point, so hence, from this point here, from this point here to this point, measure 32, 31, 32. Now I will take in this point to that point. From here, right, to that point this way. So I have this, right? I have this. So my next task is that I haven't gotten this place ticking and this place ticking. Hence, we are told that. The height, listen, listen, at this point here, there's an height of what? 12. So I'll measure out 12. As you can see, my indicating those um, um, dimensions. 1.2 is 12. So I will take it downwards, right? Is it taking? It's taking. Actually, that's not where it's, that is not that point there. But measure out 1.2. I haven't done that. I'll take my set square this way. At this point here. Draw its point line downward. Also, at this point here, 
I will draw a faint line downward this way. Right? The reason why I did that now, you know why I did that. Now, next up, I will just take this point here. I will take it up. You can see my arrow indicating that point I took up. Right? Also, I need to measure out a distance from 18. As you can see my arrow indicating 18 inward. So measuring out 18, 1.8. 1.8 will be this right at that point i have taken i i dotted i will draw a vertical line upward this way hence i will close these two together to meet each other right and also close this upper part to meet each other so i have this as you can see in front of you so my next task is that since we said from year to year is 44 Let's get the half, the distance, the half of distance, which is will be 22, right? So 20 to 22 is this at this point. Here's my center point. At that center point, we are told that um, there is a distance of 25, right? So at the center point, I will divide 25 by 2. That is 12.5. So then my compass, I will measure 12.5. That is 1.2. At this point to this point, right? I'll place it at this point here. Strike an arc one and another arc two. So at this that arc, this place and this place, I will take instead of my set square this way, I will take this upward to touch this. Also, at this point, I'll take it upward to touch this. Right? I haven't done that. This edge here is that edge you are seeing my indicating. And also this edge here is that edge you see my arrow indicating. Now if you observe there's a distance, a smaller distance, right? That closes up upward this way. But it's not given, right? I can get that by what? Since we says from here to year 25, as you can see my arrow indicating, and here is what 16. If I simply minus 25 from 16, 25 minus 16, I will have 9. I will have 9. Therefore, if I want to get, if I want to establish the 9 on this place, I will divide 9 by 2. Divide 9 by 2, I have 4.5. So, it simply means I will measure 4.5 inward. 4.5 is at this point. I will take in it. Also, 4.5. Take in this point this way. So, I have that. Hence, I will take this man upward. Also, I'll take this guy here upward. So, I haven't done that. I will close it up with the help of my meter rule, or perhaps set square. So, I have this. So, I can easily join these two points together and also join these two points here together, as you can see from our diagram. So, I won't consider all this. My next task now is that I will take this point here, this man here, this point here, this point, I will take it inward this way. It has a distance of 18, so I'll measure 18, as you can see my arrow indicating it, 1.8, 18, 1.8, 1.8 is at this point. I will take in it because it is taken, right? So I will ensure to take this point here too. This inward, so I will take this to close this up, right? I will close this up with this, right? Hence, I will also close this up here with this. So I have successfully produced out that um, guy there. So with the help of my set square again, edge point here, take it inward such that i will take this one downward to meet that line i drew inward so hence i will close it up together i have this right so i will take this one here to touch this this way so we have so let's produce out um that figure you are seeing right so um next up let's proceed let's proceed um before i can proceed if I observe closely, this point here, um, what I did here, I need to replicate it here. But with the help of my set square, I will just elongate this point down here and elongate this point here down here too, as you can see. 
that my next tax. Hence, I can now, um, if I observe closely, if I extend this point down here, I need to observe something. Um, from this point here, um, listen, this point here, as you can see, this point here is that point to achieve my radicating. So, this point here, um, if, I, if you can see the distance of 6, after that 6, a distance of what? Um, 10. Because that thing you are seeing is, is applicable here to 10. So, I'll just measure 16 throughout from this point. So measuring 16, 1.6. 1 1.6 1 from here to here is 1.6. Right? I'll measure another 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is here. And this is for the 1 here. As you can see. So, next up, I will take my set square this way. This guy. This way. I will extend this point here inward as you can see so I will take where my set square I'll take this guy down this way right I'll take it down this way hence um, this have shown me the limit at which this will be right so I can just stick in this man here and this guy together such that and I'll take this down this way and close these two points together this way so i have that as you can see um next touch is that um if you observe closely uh we said that from year to year is six and i said from here to year is ten why because year to somewhere here is ten as you can see my indicating those dimension from year to year is ten right i'll take in it it is taken so with the help of my um actually that 10 this is 10 here i'll take it downward this way but if you observe all this part here is closed down right so this is 10 i've done that 10 inward this way so my next procedure now is that um i will use that 10 to draw a square a box right so since we said year to year is 10 also year to year is 10 year to year is 10 and it's taken taking it also we said here to this point here is 10 but from the entire year is taken i'll take in all this place here it's taken but i know this is my potent the tenth point here right so i'll take my set square this way i'll draw a straight line inward right such that i will take this point here this point here i'll draw a straight line let it go down this way as you can see the faint line so where this point is meeting this I will close it up, close this from here to here, I'll close it up this way, right? So there's a um, distance, I'll draw this downward, it's a thick line, this way. Also, I'll draw this with a faint line first, faint line, and I'll take this to join that faint line. Where it meets, I'll take in it, and I'll take in this guy here too. So as you can see what we are doing. So my next task is that um, since we said the dimension here all throughout here is 10, also here to the same thing is replicated. So I will extend this um, man down this way, right? I'll measure out 10. So from here to here is 10, one centimeter. That's 10 millimeter. So I'll take this one to join this this way. Right, also after I've done that, I will take this right. <coughs> also, I will extend the box. I mean um this I'll take it inward this way. As you can see what we are doing. So um finally we can now we can now take in this part together these two parts together also i will join i can easily join these two um points here together this way as you can see what i'm doing also if you observe very well um actually there's an inward line inward also an inward line this way but the dimension of that inward is not given hence 
the entire uh, there's a distance of 25 and a, and a 19 so i'll simply minus 25 from 19 so if i minus 25 from 19 i'll have 6 so it simply means i'll measure 3 here and 3 here so i will measure out measure out 3 from here to here is 3 i'm taking it from here to this point here to is 3 i'm taking it so i haven't done that successfully i'll take my set square this way and um and taking this together also i'll close this and take this out together so i can now close the back this way and close the back of this this way so we have successfully replicate out that figure you are seeing at the right corner of the screen so our next step is to dimension so doing my dimension i'll be having this so we have such for replicate out that figure you are seeing in isometric projection if you have found this class helpful do not forget to click on the subscribe button and like. Thank you. Welcome to WiseLink Academy.